illegal immigration. We're not Arizona. And what, what they've tried to do, I mean, to, to make a wedge issue that we've talked about, is to take immigration and, and, and try to inflame the rhetoric uh, to get, usually, again, the right side of the Republican uh, Party fired up. We, Florida, and this is interesting, Stephen, in that you have traditional Florida, I mean, Republican uh, donors and organizations like the Restaurant Association, like agriculture, like Disney and the entertainment industry against these immigration issues that some people have proposed. So we don't have immigrants in Florida taking jobs. We do not have the same issues. The immigrants in Florida are a vital part of our uh, economic engine here. So I think it's a knee-jerk reaction to Arizona and other things trying to find a wedge issue politically that we don't need in Florida. Sally, is it a tricky issue for Republicans in Florida? I have to say, I'm right where Scriven is on this. I mean, and perhaps that is my bias as a Floridian or someone who understands the value that immigrants bring to the country. I think it is unfortunate, just as I think it's unfortunate that Obama has used the 99 versus 1% right. issue, that Republicans have focused on immigration in the way that they have. I mean, there is a, there, it, there is no question that we have to secure our borders. There is no question that we need to up our efforts in that regard, but I think we also have to be mindful of the the contributions that immigrants are making. And you won't find many leaders in Florida, Republicans in Florida, who don't agree with Scriven on this issue. It'll be interesting to see at the end of the day if it's actually used. I don't think it will drive voters.